After two years of massive blizzards, this winter season has been relatively warm, which may lead you to question why. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, monitors the weather for the nation 24 hours a day. Senior branch forecaster Bruce Sullivan says the Washington region tends to have variable winters and assures the public that the mild winter is nothing out of the ordinary. Well, it's been, a, it's been an unusually dry fall and, and a fairly mild uh, winter so far, but it's not, it's not unusual. If we look back uh, in, in history, uh, we've had a lot of winters dating back into the 1800s where we haven't had any snow up until this point. I think most people look back at uh, what we had two years ago when we had unprecedented snow up to 60 to 80 inches uh, across the metro area. And that you kind of get ingrained in your head, that's what winter's like. But in, 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 in reality, winter in the, in the Washington area is very, uh, very variable. Sullivan works out of the Camp Springs office of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. That office develops long-range weather forecasts. A little different this winter. We were in a what called of a uh, we're influenced by the uh, La Nina, which uh, in a typical La Nina, where uh, the East Coast is generally milder than normal, uh, the jet stream in a La Nina pattern is forced up into Canada and so with the jet stream that far north it doesn't allow the cold air to sink as far south into the eastern U.S. as you would uh, in, in other other winters. So it's it's been mild, uh, not to say that it will stay like that the remainder of the winter, but the way things are looking now uh, it, it looks as though that this is going to be a, an overall a mild winter. And Sullivan was interviewed by our Flowers High School student reporter Deja Muriel.